Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, thank you for subscribing, sharing, um, liking videos. Um, keep it up, keep going at it, thank you. Uh, today we're gonna be coding the BMW with Beamer Code app, Beamer Code device and the Beamer Code app uh, to code your auto off feature. So I believe in 2011 and above cars, BMW started to put auto off. So basically when you came to a stop light or a traffic jam and a user applied X amount of force to the brake, um, it shuts basically tells the engine to shut the engine off running the auxiliary power and at that time um, what happens is um, engine is off as soon as you let off the brake at X amount of pressure it starts a car still in drive um, and then you can keep on going well around I think 2015 or 16 sometime like around there BMW by default starting to shut it off but some of the cars they did some of the cars that didn't depending on what went in service and I think this was available for 2014 and above um, but with using the code beamer code app and the v gate what i want to try to do is um, try it on the older cars uh, today i'm practicing with the 2014 i don't have a 2013 or 12 right now i uh, still have to reach out to my friend if i can use his for a demo so stay tuned for that uh, what you want to do is um, use your VGate product or iCar Pro product, depending on Wi Fi, Bluetooth, whatever device you have, hook it up, uh, set up the VLink connection. If you're using the Wi Fi, if you're using the Bluetooth, set up the Bluetooth, get it connected, boot up the Beamer Code app, um, and then we're going to go into body domain controller. Uh, right now, mine is loading um, the body domain. And also, if you're use, co trying to code anything in BDC, I would highly, highly recommend to change your screen timeout to, I don't know, anywhere from three minutes to five minutes, unless it lets you do it longer. And the reason for that is because there's a lot of data that gets loaded in BDC and it takes a long time. Like I've been doing this for about a minute and a half right now and I'm only at 70%. Uh, so I would recommend doing that. Um, while we're, this is loading, previously you guys have seen me mention about this where we were seeing some errors um, upon connection timeouts and so forth so far um, I've made a couple of videos in the last day or so and I've been actually or tested with this device um, and haven't had problems so I don't know if uh, an update got pushed out because I know Beamer code was updated a couple times in the last about a month or so um, so okay this has loaded up the body domain controller uh, what we're gonna do is uh, go into export mode because obviously if you are in uh, regular mode you won't be able to do it so let me get uh, screen recording going so I can actually put it next to the video okay so let's go in export mode it's gonna give you a warning just click OK nothing to worry about uh, standard warning we're gonna go into 3023 which is your TC master 2 um, once you do that you get about i don't know nine or ten options something about gearboxes and then default off memory and so forth so a couple of things you want to check one thing i've noticed in my car is since i've had it whenever you start the car uh, with the memory uh, with the q fob one um, it remembers the auto off and the other key fob two i always hate it because it never remembers it so I, what, what i wanted to do and what i did was i checked the tcm msa memory and mine was set to not active. So what I initially did was I set it to active and that's how I tested with it. So basically what you wanna do is once you load the 3023 module, the TCM master two, click on TCM underscore MSA underscore memory and yours most likely will be set to not active and you wanna, you wanna set that to active and code. Uh, obviously on my screen that you're seeing it's set to active because I've done it already all you do is press OK and then go back to the previous screen and press code but before you do that you want to check one more setting is checking if the auto off is enabled or disabled um, on the comfort mode for that you want to go to TCM underscore MSA default off and check if it's set to not active or active um, what you want to do is most likely the default value from the BMW will be active and you want to set it to not active. Uh, sorry, the default value will be not active and you want to set it to active, which means it's always going to remember the setting in comfort mode. The reason I haven't done this for me is because my comfort mode when the car starts up, it's always set to auto off on the key fob one. Uh, and I've tested this morning with my key fob two 
and I hadn't had a problem with it after I set the memory to remember every single time I turn on and off. So if I turn it off, auto off, it remembers it, I can turn the car off, lock it and come back, it's still off. So these are the two settings you want to set uh, TCM MSA memory and TCM MSA default. And what I'll do is on the video below, I'll link, put these down as well and put the default values, original values and what the new values should be, whether it's supposed to be not active to active or active to not active. Um, once you do that, you go back to the previous screen, you hit the code button up top. Obviously mine is grayed out because I'm not doing that because I already just did it uh, because I wanted to test before I made the video for you guys. So once you do that, click code, let it sit, your car will restart. If you get any errors, just basically turn the car off and on and all the errors on the dash will go away. Thank you guys for watching. If this helps, please share, like, and subscribe. Thank you.